All right, I had a request for a camera path animation quick tip. We go ahead and let's deselect our lights there. So I've got the geometry view window open here. The keyboard shortcut is O. Down below, the animation timeline is open. I've got a camera here named Camera Path Annie, which will be animating. Uh, we're going to use the keyframe animation. I've right clicked on the camera path any selected animation and now I'm going to select keyframe and so now down in our timeline you'll see that we've got a camera path animation keyframe there and in our animation properties now you'll see that we've got an interpolation method set up as path. We also have orbit, camera target, and pivot. We're going to go ahead and select the camera target and our target is going to be the light fixture there. And actually, you know what? Let's reset that. Let's make that the camera pivot. Because we don't want to change that perspective. We want to stay on the pivot now. I'm going to go to the five second mark. Go back to our camera. And we'll change this to the value of 150. There we go. So now we're on the other side. And we want to set that cam that animation. And then going and looking at our properties now, the camera pivot is the same as this one. So now as we scrub through the timeline, it stays right where it needs to be. I'm going to go to about that half second mark. And you can see where our camera is placed right here. And it's getting too close, so everything's going off of our frame. So I'm going to dolly the camera out and then set a keyframe. And now you can see that the path has a little bit of a curve to it. Still going off the frame though, but that's okay. It looks fairly symmetrical, which is what we want. So now what we can do is select that center keyframe and set it to orbit. And notice how the, the curve there changed. Still getting a little bit out of our frame. That's and that's okay. But it really stays in once we get past that second keyframe. We've got this one set to path. I'm going to leave it there. But let's change this one to orbit. And now look at the the path. We got around there, and how our subject doesn't go off the frame anymore. I'm also going to change the ease on there to custom and then just holding shift I'm snapping the Bezier curves or the Bezier handles I should say and now everything stays in the frame got a nice path there looks pretty good so yeah that's that's the camera path animation 